Hi guys, myself Subham Sharma and today we would be dealing about an entrepreneurship first playlist that is playlist or playlist is entrepreneurship okay and today we will be starting with app development part okay so if you follow the path provided by me then I guarantee that you can easily earn from 50k to 1 lakhs that is 100k per month easily okay so just follow what I am saying to you and you will easily earn it okay have a faith okay firstly let me explain you what is app development is basically app can be developed by two form that is the native app or the multi-platform app basically native app defines that it has more closeness to the operating system okay like android or ios ios is apple i think all of you must be knowing it apple and android is by google android operating system okay most of us are using either of them either android or ios so native apps are designed for specifically for each operating system that is for android it is designed for specifically android or ios it is designed specifically for ios okay and then comes is a multi-platform app these are in revolution or these are in high demands in nowadays because user or the coder needs to code at only once and then he may run the same code in any of the platform okay means to say that if i went on coding a app like instagram okay then i need to just code on a one that is once only i have to code and that app very app i can deploy on any of the platform like play store for android or rather ios store for apple or it may be what it may be microsoft microsoft operating system too on which i can deploy it may be a web application further okay so it is more versatile becoming more versatile in nowadays but each of them have their pros and cons okay we would be discussing that in the next slide okay let me explain these first in details basically android apps are developed on either java language or kotlin language okay and for it we need to have a software known as android studio okay and for ios we develop app by using c sharp it is looking like has no it is c sharp okay c sharp okay it is ruby rails and the app or you may say the software which we need so as to develop the native app is xcode and it only runs in mac operating system so it is must that if you want to develop an app for ios then you need to have a mac operating system without it you can't develop okay then comes the multi-platform apps it is one is by flutter you may develop the second option is you have ionic plus cordova combination and third is react native flutter basically works on the language known as dart it is basically a framework given by google and the language they use is dart it is most recent one okay and react native it is given by facebook and they themselves has deployed this react native and applied on their application as well so the language we used in react native is javascript and for ionic and cordova combination we further use the language known as javascript okay moving to the next slide now dealing what are the pros and cons of native and multi-platform apps fine pros for native apps are more customization and personalization are possible that is you have more command command on what and how you want to present the things okay 
and the cons of native apps that is a bad or the disadvantage of it is you need to code for each and every platform that is a main disadvantage of it and it is more time consuming since you have to code for each and everything okay you have to develop each and everything from scrap okay getting everything okay then next platform is next app solution is multi platform app okay so its pros are code app once and deploy on any platform that is you need to code only once and you may then deploy on any of the platform either android okay or ios or windows or what more even web app you may develop by it okay it will run on web browser fine and its cons are less customization option okay the customization option of it are limited okay as compared to the native app okay so moving to the next slide we have now i have told you that what you have to learn and the next question which arise it okay bro you have told us that you, we have to learn this and that now where to learn the next question must be where to learn that we want to earn this much amount of money monthly 50k okay to 1 lakhs okay per month i am saying this to the per month and at the initial stage of your app okay and if your app grows and grows then it may reach up to 5 to 10 lakhs also it's possible it's very possible okay if you develop a much and good app okay fine there are basically two ways of learning either if you want to have a paid or free okay then you must be thinking why to go for paid so there are reasons okay for paid you will be get a certificate also certificate it doesn't matters a lot but if you want you may have it for the paid course okay so paid so if you want to learn for the paid then the platforms are udemy okay then there is udacity and third is coursera okay so on this course on these websites portal the cheapest among them is what what i found is udemy in this very website you will get the course from 700 rupees to 1000 rupees okay this much it is nearly equals to 1 dollar to 2 dollar okay if you want to compare in dollar it would be 700 to 1000 rupees you may easily afford it okay so if you can't afford that also then there is a free option but in this case you will not get no certificate but in this case also it is not costly very much because it is around 700 to 1000 rupees which you may invest so as to earn a huge lump sum amount when you become a advanced or a intermediate level app developer fine and you will become by through this courses only okay just have focus and detailed study of it okay you will get everything everything is there on these websites okay and for the free there are options coursera udacity and third one i won't say many thing about it i think everyone of you must be knowing it okay so it is a ocean we from where you can take anything okay from for free okay enjoy it then the option the legit option are coursera because that third one is torrent no it is illegal somewhat in okay. if you go with government rules and regulation it is illegal but we may do okay there are methods to do i think you must be knowing all of them then the legit method are coursera on coursera and udemy for if you go to the any course then there would be option of buying and other option would be to explore just click on explore and you would get the whole course for free but in that case you will not get a certificate but i think that certificate is not that much weight is because if you know the skill then you would not need any certificate okay you may develop the app 
and deploy on the GitHub or any of the platform. And so that this I have learned. Okay. So if you can learn, then you will not need any certificate. Okay. Basically, the skills are more important. But if you want to have a certificate that you have a curiosity to have a certificate, then you will have to pay for it. But I don't think that it is much important. Okay, fine. Which course to learn? Since I have told that there are many websites, but which I found the cheapest one is Udemy. I will provide the all of the links of the courses for each and every app development related. I will provide these links in the description of this video. Okay. You will get it from there. You may buy or do anything you want. Okay. I will provide the link in the description. Then question is now after that we have learned everything. Okay. We have learned app development, Flutter, by Flutter or Android Studio or iOS Studio. Now what to do next? Then the question arises after learning. Okay. There are basically two options. Either you may do freelancing. What's freelancing? Freelancing is that you develop the app for the other clients or the user. There are basically many methods. Some of them are you may visit the website called freelancer.com or guru.com and there are much and many websites in similar to that. Okay. Similar to freelancer and guru.com. Fine. Second point that you should must remember that create a profile on LinkedIn. Okay. LinkedIn. Okay, and you may connect me also. Just type Subham Sharma on LinkedIn. Okay, you will find me. I have nearly 8k plus around 8k connection, I think so. Okay. So you will easily find me, or handle of it, I think so, is Subham Arita Solni. Handle of LinkedIn. Fine. You may connect to me there and ask me the any query if you have. Okay. Deploy your then the next step is deploy your projects on GitHub or Bitbucket. Okay. Then you may be asking the what the difference between them. Basically, no difference. The simple difference is that GitHub only allows a one file to be private. Okay. Rest would be in public source that is open source, but Bitbucket allows up to three private files. That's the only difference, nothing different more than that. Okay. So as to why to deploy the, your project on GitHub. So if a client want to see that what project you have developed and how you have developed, then you may show them that we have developed this. If you, you like our work, then give us your project. Okay, fine. Okay. Now, since you are watching my video, I have a bonus offer for you. Connect me on LinkedIn, okay, and I will provide you with the project. But I will provide you the project only when I will see the work you have done, okay, by seeing your previous work. So I will ask about your GitHub project, okay. So if I found useful, then I will provide the project for you, okay, fine. I will because I get a lots of lead for app development, fine, because. I myself a app developer too. Fine. Then moving to the next slide. Yeah. Other option then. You may be saying that fine. Freelancing is a one option. Then if we don't find any client, then what's the use of learning this much thing? Because there are many people may be learning the same thing. Then what's the chance that we will get the client? Other option, other people may back in front of us or before us. Then what's of just simple? Deploy the app you have developed on any of the app store, either on the Google Play Store, okay, Google Play Store, or on iOS App Store. And as you will get a downloads of nearly 10, 10,000, okay. Once you get a downloads or the install near to that, you will and then what you may do just place ads on it okay ads on by ads only either ads you may place either of google okay or facebook either ads you may place 
these are one of the two of the these are the most paying ads okay so there are other advertising company but they don't pay as much as they do okay so i think they they are the better because i use them only okay fine by i want to say that by ads only you can earn nearly 50k to 1100k okay after what 10000 downloads on if your app reaches 10000 downloads you will easily earn that amount okay fine then comes a what's the next then what to do next do nothing rock on and earn cash since you have done loads of hard work while learning app development to the what what do you say that is advance or pro level okay fine and next thing you have to do subscribe to the channel this is must you can't go without it okay you have to do because i am doing the work no you have to do i don't want to hear anything you have to do you have to subscribe okay fine then next is more playlist would be coming soon for entrepreneurs this is about app development the next may be about web development and much more okay each and every aspects of entrepreneurship i would be dealing with so this is the first playlist the rest playlist would be coming up okay so keep smiling and share this video with your friends okay and now since you are jumping into the entrepreneurship and now it's a, your time to become your own boss